Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today what we're we doing? Well, today we're going to carry on and get in the BMW clean. Started this series, if you like, um, a couple of weeks ago. I did start off shampoo in the interior, then I've done the engine bay. Um, on today's agenda, we're going to be looking at the wheels. So I'm going to get the car in the air. We're going to start with the front two. Uh, sadly, I've only got two jack stands, so we'll have to do two wheels at a time. So we'll get, get the front two wheels off. Once I've got the front two wheels off, we'll have a look at them. We'll talk about the products that I'm going to use and we will go from there. So our first problem is that my locking wheel nut has died a death. After 16 years loyal service, the locking wheel nut key has failed. So I'm going to have to try and get it off. So what I've got is, I've got this 22 mil, I don't know if you can see that. 22 millimetre um, impact socket, which kind of fits over it, I reckon it'll fit over it with a bit of persuasion. So I've got an extension bar and I'm going to see if I can hit it on with an ammo and then use the good old pry bar. That's the plan. I don't know if this is going to work. Nope. BMW owners, 22mm impact socket, all fits over, you have to hammer it on, <laughs> it gets them off. Right, so, <laughs> we've jumped forward, um, I didn't show you my me jacking the car up, because I've done that in many videos, that's how I always start the videos, so a bit of a change, we've missed a bit out, I've got the wheels here behind me, we'll have a look how dirty they are, um, I've got the jet washing stuff set up and then we'll talk about the products that we're going to use while we look at how dirty they are. So the first thing I want to say then, yeah, I am a, a car a car guy, petrol head. I don't usually allow my car to get this dirty, but I've, I've allowed it to get this dirty specifically for showing off how good these products are. Second, the next thing I want to say is I'm not sponsored by the company that I'm going to be using, or I'd love to be, it's for me to like try out and review. I'm quite happy to pay for the products just because I love trying new products and I love cleaning uh, cars. So we'll go, we'll have a look now and we'll make a start. Right, so the wheel you're looking at is the passenger, this is the passenger wheel. Um, as you can see, it's massive, it's got so much brake dust on it. I don't know how, how well you can see, but these wheels are meant to be like a silver. You can see the wheels are absolutely filthy. So the first thing, the first product that we're going to look at today, or the first product we're going to try, is this. I'm sure you've all see, heard of it before. This is Auto Finesse Iron Out. I'm going to jet wash the wheel off so it's nice and wet, and I'm going to use the Auto Finesse and apply it liberally to the wheel, and then to agitate all the brake dust, I've got this nice big fat detail brush this is also an auto finesse product um i think it's called the trio brush set again i've used these for a lot of things we're just going to work it in work it on all all the tire uh, we'll go from there we'll probably have to go over it a couple of times as you can see it's caked on so yeah that's uh, the the driver's side wheel passenger wheel is exactly the same so we're going to start it from here this is the setup we've got. Auto finesse iron out in the middle. Brick either side to stop it rolling. Starting with a jet wash. Q time lapse. Now.
and that applied. I've let it set on both wheels. Let's give it a, a nice blast off now with a jet wash. You're already looking better from behind there now, but we might need to go over them again. So let's give them a quick blast off. So we're going to now give him a hand, a contact wash, a hand wash. Uh, this is what we're using again, another Auto Finesse product. Uh, this is called Lava. This is a few fruit punch shampoo. The fruit punch is just the smell of it. But so we're going to use this. My hair is absolutely getting on my nerves. <laughs> Open barbers. We're going to jump forward now. I'm going to give him a hand wash. It's got some soapy water. I'm going to wash the front of him by hand. Then we'll turn him around and we'll do the same process on the rear. this is the rear of the wheels you can see it's absolutely awful this is the rear of the other side you can see here this is where it's kind of leaked through but you can see the process I'm really intrigued to see what these turn out right I think this will look really good on a time lapse um, so that's what we're going to do same process as before get it in there with the iron out you can see the filth um, so yeah we're going to get in there with the iron out on a time lapse I'll give you a closer look now as you can see the wheels like <laughs> it's turned purple there's that much metal fallout we look at it in here look at that it's thick isn't it it's come up thick yeah the other side is just as bad i've done them both in one it yeah you can see that there we go look at that that one's dark purple on the inside it's made me realize that i don't want purple wheels on the car like i don't think it's The last thing we're going to do, just for a bit of protection, is a bit of aqua coat. I'm going to spray it on, get my drying towel, and then and then we'll dry it off. That's just more for a bit of protection on the wheels, make it easier a little bit now next time we clean them. Then we'll get some tire shine out, and we'll shine up the tires. So, last but not least, we're going to put some tyre dressing in. I'm really happy with how the wheels have come out. So they do need a refurb. I, can't, I won't be doing that myself. It's not somewhere I want to attempt. Um, now, just give this a shake before we I show you what it is. For this product, this is the Auto Finesse uh, Satin Tyre Cream. Um, I'm going to put it on the walls, let it dry a little bit, let it soak in, and then put another layer on. Really what we're working. Gonna do got the applicator I'm going to put some of this on here like so I'm just going to rub it into the tire I really love the satin finish Right, so we'll jump forward then. Front wheels are on the car, looking lovely. Second up now, we've got the two rear ones. Not as bad as the fronts, 
probably try and get a thumbnail there of the purple reacting. Um, so yeah, probably just going to do this as one big time lapse. A bit of a cinematics in between two like time lapses. But yeah, hope you're enjoying the video. So that's the back wheels done. You probably noticed in that video that I used the detailing brush on the rear by spinning the wheel around. The reason for that was I had to run out of the iron out, that's how much I use it. Um, I think this is about my fifth or sixth bottle. But that said, like I said at the start of the video, anybody out there that wants to um, recommend the product, I'm quite happy to, live, to purchase it and test it out on, on my car, I'm quite happy. Uh, we're gonna let the tires dry out and we're gonna apply the satin finish. I really like the satin finish. I like how it gives it a new tire look, but it's not like a, a shine. You can put a couple of layers on to get a bit, a bit of a shine, but it stays, as it says, as it's got, it's got a satin finish and it, it does look really, really smart. So yeah, so that's it. Here we go. Wheels are on the car. I think they look a hundred times better. Um, because the car looks, because the car's filthy and the wheels look amazing, I'm now going to give the car the one sole lens while it's cock hard on my driveway. Um, I'm going to give it a nice deep clean. Um, I've got another video somewhere in my channel called Washing My Car. If you want to go and watch that, that's got me using uh, other auto finesse products such as Aquacol and things like that. But thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember, I think 90% of the people watch, out, watch these videos are not subscribed. So if that is you, hit that subscribe button now it will be a massive help my target's still at 100 this year um i think we should be able to do it hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks very much for watching thank you